Hey there everybody, Pop on Top here. Welcome back to some more Follow New Vegas. This is our second part here. I know the first part didn't have any gameplay audio. My capture card is being a stupid bitch. I think it's fixed now. Hopefully everything in this video goes well. I am literally making this one right after the first one. After I recorded that whole long video, I was like, oh shit, dog. That doesn't have any gameplay audio. I wonder why. And I just had to like unplug my capture card and plug it back in and eventually it worked. It's kind of being a broken piece of shit. Probably need a new one. Don't really have the money for that right now. We're just going to try to hopefully make it do with what we got here. Um, so, we're obviously back to where we we're at here, right back in Good Springs. So, we completed the whole quest with uh, the Powder Gangers at the prison, the NCR Correctional Facility. Um, we are, you know, working on Ghost Town Gunfight. That's what we're going to do today. We're going to do Ghost Town Gunfight, among other things. Uh, I suppose we should talk to Chet. We do have a lot of stuff we don't need. And I don't know if his inventory is reset, though. Maybe we could talk to Trudy, too. She could at least buy some things from us. You looking to buy I'm some looking supplies? to really sell some things, but I hope you have some supplies, too. But I don't think he does. He has a laser pistol GRA, but he sells a plasma pistol, too. So I guess he did refresh his inventory, it looks like. Do you have any of the cool attachments, though? That's the thing I guess we could look for. Like, it's a misc stuff, right? Like, I forget about that even aspect of the thing. The laser pistol combat sights. And the laser pistol focus optics, that's very good if we want to really pimp. We do have a laser pistol already, right, that could take that. I mean, I guess if we're trying to sell some things because we're going to need to just buy some things to get some money. We do have this laser pistol. It's not very good condition. Can we, put this, we could put the laser pistol GRA, right? Like, we could do that instead. I'm, I'm thinking about if whether I want to do that. You know, this is me raw dogging it, you guys. I want you guys to understand this very much. Not... We're going to get rid of this NCR face wrap armor. That's off rip and this goggles helmet. We don't need that anymore at all. Um, we need to... Yes, cancel the trans... I forgot. The, the radio's going off. Please don't copyright claim me. Shut the fuck up. Oh, man. You looking to buy if I get copyright claim, I get copyright claim. It is what it is. You know, like, I would like to, you know, make some money from these videos and stuff. That'd be cool. Like, but I'm not all 100% about it. Um, <clears throat> I wonder if we buy this. Like, could start with that. And then we could sell a lot of these things. We don't need most of this shit. And then he's overspent anyway. Uh, I guess we'll buy the laser pistol parts just to say we did. Why not? Right? Like, I think that would be, I mean, if we can if we can buy them. It's going to cost us some money right now, but I believe we can make that back. We don't need this metal armor anyway. We're definitely not doing that. That's a big chunk of money anyway. And a big chunk of freed up fucking carry weight. This 13 dynamite, that's kind of it for now. Anything else you want to buy from you, Chet? Do you have any more ammunition of, like, the energy silver? Right? You don't. Why? Why are you like this, Chet? Why do you not have no energy energy ammo? I guess we could sell the dynamite, though, still, anyway, just to say we did. Um, I guess we could buy a doctor's bag. That, that's practically free. I mean, it is free. Um, do we need anything else? I guess we could get the salesman weekly. We might need that barter a little bit later on. We could buy some stim packs until we could equal this out, like, two. Now we're paying him money. But that gives us more options to sell, like, all these knives. We don't need the regular laser pistol anymore. Um, the grenade rifle is so cool, and it would be fun to use. So we'll sell that. We don't need that machete. We're not melee weaponing. Weaponing. Um, these throwing spears as well. And we'll kind of put that vomit rifle in there and call that good. We'll call that... And we're going to get rid of the tire iron, too, because I just don't want it in my inventory. We have 1,200 caps. We're doing good. I mean, we had to spend 100... To get into the fucking thing and all these things, but we're, we're doing quite well on the bullets and ammunition and stuff. So, ammo, yeah, 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 yeah. We have this laser pistol, so we can mod this, right? Yeah. Put both of those on there. Increases damage, adds usable iron sights. So we have a pimped out laser pistol here. Only requires the strength of one. I mean, I think the plasma, plasma pistol is two. Um, but we have this laser pistol here now that we can use with the usable iron sights. Those iron sights are big fat, but it's glow sights. It's how much damage does this do in comparison, though? This is, we're talking, oh, 41 DPS, thank you. Um, 11 damage. The plasma pistol is 21 damage per shot, 43 DPS, so it is just better. Um, but we could use this laser pistol for now, I guess, if we really want to. Both of these don't require any energy weapon, you know, stat. And the strength of five. So the four damage is not is not really cutting it. Um, so yeah, Ghost Town Gunfight, though. I should probably try to focus back up. I, wanted, I, I haven't done that, I've talked about this a lot in the last video, but, like... I haven't really ever done the energy weapon playthrough before, so it's cool that I have this laser pistol at all and I can, you know, even do these things. As you see, third person hip hopping around. This is gonna be me. We're gonna go talk to Ringo though, to start the Ghost Town Island fight kind of quest line thing. There's some Sunset Sarsaparilla in here, almost undoubtedly, and some bottle caps. We'll take all that. Good shit. That's close. Uh, 
I'm not your enemy. I'm really actually trying to help you out. You know, this Joe Cobb, he's looking for you. Um, why do they want to get you? You, you just know, they just jumped your ass. They're powder gangers. They're bad guys. I can help you. I'm going to get help. Okay? Pinky promise, dog. I will get some help, Ringo. But I would like your boxing times. That's always on the wall there. Or the shelf, I guess. It's not a wall. And he's going to sit right there. Um, which means he... No, don't look at me. Don't look at me. I want these 9mm rounds. Do you see that one? Nah, fuck. Uh, I said I wasn't going to save scum too much. I promise I will not. But I'm doing it this time. Because there's no way he should have looked at me. Right? Like, that is lame. That's lame. I'm going to ask around for help. Okay? We're right back to where we're at. Um... He, you should not have looked at me, dog. You just shouldn't. What is he picking up from over there, anyway? The cash register we can get into. That's, he doesn't care about that. These are his pistol bullets, though. So he's real mad if I take them. We can kind of use some angles here. Don't look at me! I've lost karma. I'm not worried about the karma. I don't, the NCR will literally fucking hate you forever. If I get seen... Because he's technically affiliated with the NCR. Because he's with the Crimson Cameron. Look the other way. Go look, no, 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 no. It's not my doing nothing, dog. Pinky promise. Look the other way. Carton cigarettes are valuable too, wait 40 caps, but I'm not really hurting on caps. I'm not really too worried about that part. We can open the crates. Hey, Sunset's past the oil. We'll take those. What's in this sack? Nothing of value. The 9mm rounds aren't that important. I'm not. You can you can have them, Chet, okay? Goddamn. Fucking throwing a little bitch fit. It's like, staring at me. You better not steal my stuff. I don't want to steal your stuff, dog. I mean, I do want to steal your stuff, but not to, I'm not going to tell you that to your face. Okay, a couple other things to do while we're in this vicinity here. There's Doc Mitchell's house. Um, we could talk to Doc Mitchell about the thing, but we need to talk to Sunny's house, I think, first. Anyway, right? To be like, hey, Sunny, you want to help? And then she'd be like, yeah, you can get these other people to help, I think. Or, do, or can you go right into the get everybody to help thing? I forget exactly how this goes. Now, because I'm recording this episode right after the last episode, you guys haven't even seen the first episode to tell me, hey, cut some more of this walking and hopping bullshit out. So I'm just going to keep it, keep it in for now. And if it, you know... There. Yes, I, I'm going to help Ringo take with the Powder Gangers. I need your help. She's in. That was easy. Super duper nice. Um, yes. Goodbye. Thank you. Okay. We can enlist the help of other people now. I believe that is required. Um, now, Shooty's real easy, right? She's just so a speech skill? Yes. Speech. You should help. Easy peasy. Uh, she has some stuff, you know. A meeting people is important if you need that speech right away. Salesman Weekly. I believe we already have one of those. And I don't think it's going to get our barter skill high enough anyway um, to, to do much about Chet. Because um, Chet we can get to help too. Um, we're going to kind of quickly go through this, I think. I should probably hotkey some weapons. That's what I'm thinking I'm going to do too. I, I forget to do this a lot. So that, that's going to go on the right. We'll put the plasma pistol on the left and the recharger rifle on the down. I always forget to do this. I don't like how this weapon has to get pulled out and then um, we're going to talk to Chet. I don't know why Chet's not like a marker on this, but... Oh. Howdy, Chet! I'd turn your fucking radio off. You looking to buy some supplies? Uh, I need some supplies to buy the Powder Gangers, yeah. So, he wants a thousand caps. I'll do it, too. But, like, That's more you piece of shit. <laughs> I have, like, no money now, which is fine. I don't need the... I, there's so many ways to get money. And he does give you leather armor, which is important, because you can pair a lightweight with it. And it's just better. Kind of all across the board. But it, it helps... The people live, okay? I'm doing a benevolent thing for the sake of the people. Um, and we gotta talk to Doc Mitchell. We need a medicine skill for that, I believe. I don't know if I have the medicine skill. Now, there's one other thing I wanted to do while we're still in Good Springs, and that's head over here. There's this little um, schoolhouse over here that's full of mantis. Ma mantis. Is it mantises? Is that the plural of mantis? Man, I, English is my native language, and it's sometimes you would never fucking know because I just speak it like dumb shit like like i just don't understand but yeah there's a schoolhouse here it's got m mantises this should be very easy to kill even with this um here and technically i mean it's not it's not the reason i'm doing it I can shoot it. where's the face sometimes bats is weird right like you think oh, that is the face just shoot it in the face just as i did it's head literally popped off i mean we got the cool little bats kill cam 100 percent worth doing that all these one experience points super valuable not really um, but I really like the glow of this gun um, in here. There's definitely more mantises. I should really look that. I feel like I should look that up, but that's gonna waste time in the video. I'm not gonna pause the video to do that. That's that's just my stuff. 
See, I'm going for the head. I'm trying to. I'm going down, 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 down. Leg, 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 up, up. There it is. You could really just shoot the body, too, though. They should all die in one shot. I'm, like, overthinking it. Like, heavy. Can I shoot this other one, too? 60%. I mean, there's some... There's 91. We'll go back to this one. What was the body part that had 85? You shoot you right in the arm. Boom. Boom. I missed the second one. I cannot believe I missed them. My T character's like... Nah. Grit my teeth because I fucking missed two fucking high percentage shots. And then, therefore... I cannot, excuse me. These strength requirements, though. <laughs> you see this shit? Let it recharge. I gotta, I apparently have to use bats. None of this is hitting. There you go. I fucking recharge a rifle. Fucking energy guns. Why am I doing this build? Shotguns just work better. Um, but there's a programmer's digest here, which is valuable. They're kind of teaching you this mechanic if you go into here. Um, there's a body pin here so you can open the safe. We can do the easy safe, but we can also do the terminal. I don't think there's really... One, I mean, I prefer the bobblehead game, right? Uh, or not the bobblehead game, the lockpicking minigame. Um, weapons, one out of seven. Fucking great. Waiting. Uh, could it not be waiting? Uh, mel melting is two. Testing is two, at least... Festers is two. Hunting. Could be hunting. Four. Okay. What's the word? Mel meeting. I mean, it could be the T and the ING. But that has two in common. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like, I fucking hate these puzzles. Finding. Could be fine. No. Yeah, it could. There it is. I figured it out. I'm so smart. I fucking hate this box. I hate him. Just please open open the safe for me. Okay? I'll just lock it from now on. Even though my science skills are high. There's a stealth point here. Super stint pack. Pre war money. Mint tats. Valuable things. Just to say you have them, I guess. Um, bobby pins. Those are valuable. I mean, we are going to lock pick some things. Anything in the middle box? Nothing. Nothing of value was gained. Um. I know, like, I could definitely be cutting out a lot more stuff out of these videos than I do, but I really like to record and make videos in a, in a format that's like, it's like similar, I would say similar, similar to like a live stream. It's not a live stream. I'm not live streaming it. I, I don't like that pressure. If things crash and break, like if I didn't have the gameplay audio and I was doing the live stream, that would be broken and I couldn't like fix it on the fly because uh, I had to unplug my capture card because cause all kinds of issues. Uh, but yeah, we cleared that out. You got the body pins, the stealth boy. Uh, I don't think it's going to be super hyper relevant, but we have it anyway to say we did. Um, and then we just got to get Doc Mitchell on board, right? And, oh, and Easy Pete, but we can't do Easy Pete. I don't think that's going to work out. We're going to try. I, I, I don't remember. Like, I think the explosive is 25. Doc Mitchell, I have enough medicine score, though, I think. Welcome back. Um, the town is going to be attacked by bandits. Anything you can do to help? Seems like wherever I go, it's always the same. Yeah, but, but thank you for the medical supplies. Can you... Isn't there a way to get more? Like, or you could just buy some. But what? No, 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 no. Apparently not. I thought there was a way to push him for more. I forget how to do that. It's fucking dirty water. Doc Mitchell's just stashing dirty water in his house. It's literally good springs. There's like fresh water everywhere, right? Um, but yeah, I forgot about Easy Pete. I always forget about Easy Pete. I don't have the explosive score. I don't think. I can double check, but I'm pretty sure I don't. Um, explosives required of 25. I have 23? If I literally had the, like, a skill magazine for explosives. I do not. I got science and all kinds of things. Barter and all this stuff. Repair kits. I mean, I guess we could use a repair kit if we really need to. I could do one last double check here. Because, obviously, one of the most valuable things that you can do in Good Springs. This is all, this is all random, though. This is, I've, this is not consistent at all. But these mailboxes in town here. We're gonna check that one. Can have skill magazines in them. Now, to get one that would give me explosive skill seems to be like it's not like a high percentage chance that I could really rely on here. But I'm going to check regardless. Just because I want to prep for there's meeting people. Like see like that's a, that's a helpful one. The speech is speech is a very important skill to be able to buff on the fly. Um are you gonna be in your house? Or, no Victor, I just wanna go in your house. I believe there's some valuable shit in his, in his kit. You really gotta turn off. I really should just go in here and turn the radio down. Now, that sucks. 
I understand that that sucks, but I just have to do it to be safe. I sh I'm just like risking too much copyright claim action. I wish YouTube wasn't such a bitch about it, okay? Like, I, you know, but I get it. Like, it's, it's not my music. It's not really my video game either, but you know, the things, the things work together. He's got an ammunition box. There's some energy cells. That's sick. That was, this is 100% had been a worthwhile trip. I know, I thought there was more valuable shit in here than just that. But yeah, there's this weapon repair kit. That's also very good. So, you know, valuable all around. I don't know how much long we're even really gonna, you know, try to consistently, and Victor lets you take all this stuff because he's such a good dude. Um, I don't know if there's much point to repairing this. I could repair it. My repair skill is pretty high, so it would repair a lot. Because I believe weapon repair gets based off of your repair skill. Um, that's how much it repairs the weapon. Um, there's a couple more mirror boxes to check. Pretty please. No, that's an ashtray and a toy car. Absolute junk ass garbage. There's a couple more mirror boxes. We'll check. But Easy Pete's not gonna give us dynamite. Not that I. Oh, this is a boxing times though. Unarmed. If fucking that fucking mattered for shit, dick. It doesn't. In case you don't know, that doesn't. We're not gonna be punching anything in the face. Should go meet Veronica. Be like, here, Veronica. Here's all my. There's more. There's more over there. But I mean, we could just talk to Easy Pete. I believe it's. I mean, they're so close to that suck. Where did Easy Pete go? Are you in the bar, Pete? Does Easy Pete ever go in the bar? Is that a thing that he does? He's not in the bar. Where did you go? He's like, hello. Oh, hello Malcolm there. Holmes. I fucking you forgot about this face. piece of shit. I almost took you. Um. Don't follow me, you'll live longer. Yeah, yeah, back the fuck up. Uh, yeah, just get the fuck out of here, Malcolm Holmes. Now, I forgot about Malcolm Holmes. Now, are we going to do the quest for the star or whatever the fuck it's called? No, probably not, because it's, it takes a lot. But, I wonder, was anybody going to be mad if I kill Malcolm Holmes? Like, that's a question. Pickpocket him and put a mine in his ass. See, he's got the bottle caps here. And 308 rounds, and some regular bottle caps here. I really want his bottle caps just to say I got him anyway. Um, like his sun, his star bottle caps. I mean, we're technically sneaking right now. Do I think I could one-shot him? Is kind of the question there. Ooh, don't, don't be doing too much. Do I think this is going to one-shot him? It doesn't look like it, but we'll give it a try. It did work. This fucking energy weapon is a shit. Um, thanks for the star bottle caps. And technically, we could do, we could have, I, I didn't sync this up like I, I should have, but I could, I could have put both of these pieces of gear on and then got enough barter stat, um, to actually convince Chet to not have to give him a thousand caps to win the game. Now, where did fucking Easy Pete go? <laughs> right? Because, like, he's the one I have to talk to still? Is he, is he, Pete? Easy Pete? Hello? Is he in? Is he in the saloon? I've never seen that. He's always in his chair. Like I've never ever seen him not be in his chair. Like I guess he's in his house at nighttime. Do this recycling bench here too. Recycling of microfusion shells, sure. And then the flamer fuel, sure. To say we did, we can make these all overcharged. We're not even fucking worrying about that. This is just ammo, right? Yeah, it's just ammo. Um, we need a regular workbench. Where did fucking Easy Pete go? I'm like looking at the map now because I'm like. My game has been doing some shit. It says it's in the Prospector Saloon. Right? Because we got a Easy Pete's, the, the quest that we haven't done yet. Acquire Easy Pete's Dynamite. That is the quest. He says he's in here. That's fucking crazy. I've never seen him go in the saloon. But he is in here, huh? Where did you... Hello? Maybe? Hey. You, you are just literally sitting in the dark corner. I didn't even fucking see you there, Easy Pete. Howdy. Uh, can you help me, Pete? Yeah, I don't have the explosive. So, we tried. I don't need the explosives, that's fucking fine anyway. It doesn't give the other, like, uh, members of town. I, I was trying to take out the word there. Uh, I was going to say, like, the other survivors, but, I mean, technically everybody is a survivor when it's the apocalypse. We're going to go talk to Ringo. We're going to pop Ghost Town Gunfight off. I have other things that I want to try to get planned, hopefully done in this video. Hopefully, the gameplay audio is holding up. Uh, I know, like, that last video. This shit, I promise you guys, this shit tilts the fuck out of me. It makes me so frustrated. But I've been working on... Not getting too frustrated. So what's going yes, on? Yes, Sonny's with us. Well, I guess that. Um, nope. Let's go. Oh, look, the Time powder gangers play. are here because I queued them to be here. How many are there? At least. All right. Three. There's at least six. Now we're gonna try to make sure everybody survives. This is. I mean, plasma pistol, right? Like, uh, hippity hoppity. Try to go very quick. Sonny, I'm faster than you. I'm gonna try to get in there and fight him. I mean, it means I take damage. I don't really care about that. 
this was stim packs before. I haven't even had a pop of stim pack yet. We have, the only time we've had a heal one time is the bed. We, we're gonna have to use stim packs in this playthrough. I think you promised you that too. There's Malcolm Holmes' dead ass body out there. That's hilarious. Um, I'm gonna try to get a little closer to get good ass bat shots on deck. Oh, there's Cobb himself. I only get two shots with this. I mean, he's he's crippled, but only two shots with this is not particularly good. And this is good karma. I'm trying to be accurate with these shots, but, you know. It's a little bit rough. I lost I'm fucking so much ammo used already. Okay, right in your fucking head, Joe Cobb. Gooified. Wonderful. What a good fitting ending for Joe Cobb. I love the, like, the greenness of that effect, too. Like, just the super bright colors. One shot in the chest. This gun is very good. Energy guns are good. They are overpowered. But I'm... Vilified. Apparently I didn't do enough positive. Good springs I'm just like. I, I thought it would be better than that. Um, to be fair, like the, the, the splits on that. If I remember right, generally it is, right? Vilified. Like a... Is it do enough positive stuff for them? I apparently didn't. That's okay. Cobb's got a self boy here. We'll definitely take that, because why not? Desperado cowboy hat sounds way cooler than what we currently have. I promise it is. Baseball bat, you guys are garbage. So we did that, and then Ringo's gonna talk to us. Hello, Ringo. Uh, oh, you yeah, he gives us some people. money. You can actually go find him later, and he'll pay you back even more, which is a cool fucking effect of that. And Ghost Town Gunfight is done. Did anybody die? I am liked by G Good Springs. Not idolized as much as I thought it would be. Um, Trudy's alive. That's cool. Did anybody die? I, all I see is green goopy piles, which means I won. Like, regardless of who, if anybody in Good Springs died, I won. Um, just making sure I picked up all the things I need to pick up here. I don't see anybody dead. Fucking goop pile. That's Joe Cobb, bitch ass. Um, but yeah, I think that's good. We're good. We did. That's pretty much all of Good Springs. You never really come back here to do anything major, but we did it. We did the Ghost Town gunfight. Now we're going to move on. And do a lot of other things. Look how much condition my weapon's already in. Easy Pete's alive. Like, I don't think we lost anybody. You'd see their body, right? Sonny, are you back in here? I just want to make sure Sonny's alive. Sonny's like the one person who deserves to live. Hello. Ringo, you're alive. But where's where's Sonny? Where does... There's Trudy. There's Sonny. She made it, okay. What about the dog? Sonny, where's your dog? Sonny? Where's the dog? Apparently, I got disintegrations done there. That's kind of cool that it took forever to load in, but it, it did do that. Still a buggy game. It's kind of weird. I don't think the dog's dead, right? The dog's not dead. Unless I accidentally, like, plasma vaporize it. I think the dog... We'll just, we're going to assume the dog is alive. Okay? We're just going to make that safe assumption here. Now we can go right back to Prim. I believe that's the next part we're taking care of. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I want to do along the way. Um, but for now, Prim. We're going to go save Deputy Beagle. And his bitch ass, because he can't handle... I mean, I guess there's a lot of fucking escaped convicts here. And the Powder Gangers already hate us. Um, we'll see how this goes. We're also going to go to the Sheriff's House, which I believe is this one. It's got some valuable loot in it. But we do have to complete this quest, because I believe that he died. You can hear that noise. He's Because that's the way that the game loads. The, the cell isn't loaded until you enter it. So... He's not dead, technically, until you get here. Because that, that, that's when the game has to pop his head off. The radio is on. See, that's why I have to turn the radio volume down to nothing. Because I would... It's one of these times I would get caught. He has .308 rounds, which is nice. If you're doing bullets. I'm not doing bullets, but, I, you know, it's nice to sell, I guess. Brahmin skin outfit. There's Mrs. McBain and Sheriff McBain himself. He's got nothing on him. Um, he's got these outfits are on the... There's a sheriff duster here, which is kind of a cool thing. And the sheriff's hat. Um, so you can get that set there. That's kind of cool that it's there. And then the big thing, if you're using guns, is that he's got a cowboy or a Peter. And it's like underneath his bed here. We can technically sleep in that bed, which is something I definitely don't want to do. Can I grab the cowboy or Peter, though? Just the finickiness of this is so... I want the cowboy or Peter. Please. Please. I mean, just it's it's like decently valuable. I, mean, I guess I'm not, not today. The game says. I was trying to find a like it's all it's too under the bed, like the way that it loaded in this particular time. 
Sometimes it's weird like this. This has happened to me before. No cow warrior. It's not like I need the cow warrior, Peter. It's not like we're going to use it as a weapon regardless anyway. But, you know, it would have been cool to have. But, I mean, that's a very powerful gun for this stage of the game. It's in bad condition, but, like, you know, you start out with those weapon repair kits if you got all the things and you can do that kind of stuff. We're going to use this laser pistol here, though, for now. Just because we're using this weapon's condition up. And these guys in here shouldn't be too tough. Now, we obviously are going for criticals and stuff, but more raw criticals, not sneak attack criticals, because lasers aren't sneaky. Um, there's a guy right around that corner. Um, but we can sneak through here. That's totally fine, right? I probably shouldn't turn the flashlight on. The door is locked hard, but the terminal is easy. I believe you can also get the key. I hate these. Feeling. Five out of seven. That's a good way to start. So it's probably another healing type of thing, like healing that's six so we got to find a word that's got six letter like one letter is wrong out of healing so dealing it's got to be dealing right and that should give us enough to push the level four level four okay yeah yeah yeah. skip through that level up disengage lock thank you Did I level up here i do level up here not in combat enough all right like i said we got the build so at level four it's a pretty simple thing we got to get some more points going up here that I would like to get. Obviously we need repair and science still to go up. I'm going to get science at 70 because that's where I needed that for the immediate right now. But I'm also going to need repair out the ass. And we'll do that for now. And then one more point in the energy weapons for now. It just feels bad early on in the game. Um, But we take, you take um, educated. Uh, it's just the best. You just, if you're level 4 you take educated. It's just not two more skill points every level for the rest of the video game is too valuable not to take it's really that's it that's it's just the, it's just the best level four perk if you don't take it at level four you're kind of playing the game wrong and i'm not trying to be mean about it that's just is the circumstances take all the drugs refrigerator got anything good new cola i mean there's a sunset sarsaparilla sunset sarsaparilla one wait for however much hp exactly you get out of that i forget exactly how much hp it is but it is super valuable. Oh, fucking doctor's bag. I'm getting hard carry today on my RNG on some of these things. Okay. Sneak. Not danger already. Hey. 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 Your varmint rifle's not very good, sir. Two shots in the head? He's not quite dead. You're not quite... Oh, shit. I reloaded, dog. I was reloading. It was not a good time to come around the corner. Crippled. Yeah, super duper dead. Super duper easy. This in an easy weapon's overpowered. I do want to mention, I haven't, I haven't mentioned so far in the playthrough, um, we are just playing on, e or not as I say easy difficulty. We're not playing on easy difficulty. We're playing on normal difficulty. Um, I like the default experience of, of Fallout. It's, it's normal. Right, I I'll, I'll, I'll have to play survival mode in Fallout 4 because I think that actually makes things different, but that's, that's this whole other, th th that is not this, okay? You think you can play hardcore normal on this anyway, right? You still be normal difficulty, just hardcore. Okay. Let's just try not to burn through every fucking energy cell we got, though. Now, there's the lucky magnum in this safe right here, right? There's also tales of a junk town jer jerky vendor, pre-war money. It's free money. Um, but it's locked hard. So you could, I mean, I've done playthroughs where I've rushed that down to get, um, because we, if you think about it, Bottle caps. More bottle caps. More bottle caps, sure. I mean, one at a time, but literally I'll take them. I'm just looking. I, I don't think there's anything else valuable here. Is there a book of any kind of variety that's actually important? Teddy bears and fortune. Uh, but <laughs> not, not valuable books. Now, we are going to try to sneak around the back way. You can go that way, but that's like directly right into their mouth. Now, there's this easy locked door here. That's the strat. I pinky promise. This is... Because technically, you can get the Deputy Beagle and just get him out very quickly and not have to fight everybody in here. We might fight everybody in here anyway for the experience points. I like experience points. But this goes right into where Deputy Beagle is at. Now, if we're really careful about this, my sneak skill is not as high as I would like it to be. Hi, Beagle. I'm going to save you. We just got to shut these doors over here without getting seen too much would be very good. That'd be nifty, because it... Shit. I mean, he's turning around and looking at me. What do you want from me? Now, there's the guy with the big fucking incinerator fucking flip. That's a grenade. Please, Beagle, don't die. I'm gonna back up so Beagle doesn't get accidentally killed. If you want to push me, come push me. Coward, you won't. 
They're actually going to though, for sure. For sure, for sure. These iron types are so weird. Can we not blow a beagle up, please? I'm trying to save his life, and you guys are really trying to kill him. He's like a hostage you have, and you're like, nah, dog. I don't want to keep him. This guy is the bad guy. You're the bad man. Save the vast points for this. Shoot you right in the fucking face a couple times, hopefully. Take that vast damage resistance. He got fucking backflipped. Fucking vast is the greatest combat mechanic ever. Yeah, you go ahead and shoot at me, Doc. How's that working out for you? We're rapidly running out of ammunition. It's fine. It's all, it's all fine. It'll be okay. There's one more guy definitely shooting at me. We got rid of the, the escape comic leader, though. And he is the one... Now, this incinerator weighs 12 pounds. We're not, I mean, we're already kind of overweight as it is. Um, we'll take the leather armor, though, because we're just going to slap it into our armor. We'll put these pistols together, too. We're repairing things. Call that good for now. Did we not sell the face wrap armor? I thought we did. I don't know why we have so much of this bullshit. Sheriff's hat? Desperado Cabo hat? Sure. I mean, I guess we can repair it, at least. It's a big-ass fucking hat. Yeehaws and shit. Um, <laughs> somebody else was still shooting at me? No? Did they like run away? They're like, ha ha, maybe not. Very over encumbered. Nine millimeters all valuable. Take the stuff. Slap some more things together, maybe. I really gotta sell some things. Put that nine millimeter pistol together. All kinds of armor rifles put together. Single shotguns. In okay shape. Okay. Beagle. I, I freed you. I don't suppose I did. You. I'm in a bit of a predicament. Here. Yes. Tell me the information. You can convince him early, but you know, I'll set you free now. Um Yeah, run away. You go go ahead, Beagle. I'll let you just live. That's that's me being morally pure in this particular context, right? Is there enemies nearby? There's not, so Free sleep, free heal. Beds are good, right? Sunset's Asperilla, very important. In case we do need to heal ever at some point. But we are taking up a lot of our carrier weight. That's a problem with the strength and stuff. Stats too, right? I believe this goes upstairs. Yep. Now, there's not like a huge amount of valuable stuff upstairs. But we are going to try. We might try and save some of this ammo. But this gun is, this fucking recycler thing is absolutely busted. All right. At least we got an auto save. Who's seeing me? Caution? What am I in caution right here? Like you're around a corner and I'm in caution. My sneak stat sucks. Like you're not even around. The, you're right there. Okay. It's very dark in here. I don't. I do like the atmosphere of Fallout New Vegas and, and it is darkness. It's very hello, sir. I wonder if this is good. It's probably not that good. Yeah. This ship's just gonna break on me soon anyway. His head scribbled. But this is not really what I would consider cutting it. We usually got those crits though. Those nice crispy crits where we literally turn them crispy. Um, this is nice. That's good shit. I'm about that. But we're going to have to actually use a gun gun. And hopefully the ammo situation just kind of holds up for him. Maybe I'm just jumping. Yeah, maybe you're just jumping. Maybe I'm going to open the door on your ass though. And absolutely critting you in the face. Awful. Why is that noise so loud? <laughs> I'm putting that energy out there. <laughs> I know it's funny because I'm sure that last episode I was talking about like noises of things and it was just you couldn't hear anything. You, what are you doing standing up there? I gotta start using bats because it's just more accurate than the manual aiming of Fallen New Vegas. It just doesn't work out because it's an old game. Like and it's not designed to work out. Okay, we're doing fine though. We are doing. Okay. I mean, I'm not, like, in any kind of danger of dying at all. Like, is there a way you can climb up this way? Or this is that's just kind of it? I'm going to turn the flashlight on. I would like to sneak a little bit. But, like, is, I believe, isn't there, like, a way you can jump up this? If, you, if you're good about, like, jumping? Yeah. Oh, fuck, dude. I'm so fucking good at jumping. <laughs> Spamming the Y button. I don't know if there's, there's a pack of cigarettes, but... Yo? Yeah, maybe you're just jumpy. Maybe it's you, maybe it's Maybelline, and all those comments and stuff. Fire hose box, in case you need a nozzle. Yeah, I couldn't bash that, man. No shot. Yeah, right? The fact that that takes three shots is a little bit too much. But, you know, I'm trying to conserve some ammunition. It's tough. Um, 
I know there's valuable stuff in here, though. Take the whole cigarette. Oh, we forgot to grab the cigarette from Good Springs. I forgot. I told you we were fucking forgetting some shit. I made that jump. More lockpicking to do. Now, lockpicking in this game is fine. That look, I mean, that was obviously an easy one, but like, I much prefer lockpicking to whatever the fuck they did in Starfield with the digi picks and stuff. That shit's not fun. It takes way longer than that, and it doesn't. It's the same. It's the same essential mechanic, but they made it take longer and be less fun. I don't know how they did that. I like Starfield as a game too. I'm not trying to like talk shit about things. Like, I mean. It, it's got very... There's, there's definitely some good things about Starfield. I'm not going to try to like hear, sit here shitting on it as I'm playing New Vegas. Technically, Obsidian game. Um, I'm just going to walk around now. I, I definitely had enough, dog. This is all... This is the end of this, apparently. It's so dark, dude. I'm going to have to like fork my brightness a little bit. Uh, danger. Oh, no. Are you right down here? You're just eating that bookcase. You can't figure out how to jump up. You're not a master of jumping like me. Yep. The bats kill cam where you miss your shots because your gun's actually sticking through them. Please, just hit one shot. Thank you. God damn. Spending so much ammunition. It's the laser playthrough. <laughs> this is always fucking... Everything's got to... I'm over encumbered. Buy 9mm pistols again. Um, there's a lot of these you get, but they're actually quite valuable, like, relatively to their weight. And you can just put them all together. There's not, I mean, I remember there being something valuable here, like, worth making it going upstairs and doing all this stuff. Obviously, there's the XP from killing things, and because we took skilled, we are slightly lacking in XP. Like, like every, the quests are the, one of the biggest XP payouts in the game. We're not even taking the new cola. We have too much. Um, that's back downstairs. I, I knew there was something else here. Though, that, that's locked. We'll open that up. It's very easy. I mean, you could just do this. I mean, this takes some time. But this, I mean, not really a lot. And there's a doctor's bag to make all... One lockpick door time, whatever the time that took, is worth that one doctor's bag, right? It just is. Like, 100%. There's technically the elevator. Oh, yeah, we could repair the elevator, right? Like, there's a way to do that downstairs. We probably should have done that. We could have done that. Anyway. Now, I'm getting lost in the sauce. Like, one of these things about... It's not just... It's me. Maybe, I'm just Maybe you're just jumping. You fucking fried. 48 enemies you've already killed out of the 64 for the, the little mini quest challenge thing. Uh, but... Cattleman Cowboy Hat. I mean, I don't even think our hat needs to repair, but we'll, we'll try. We really gotta sell some stuff. We, we can't repair that. Fixing things, quest, that's a, that's experience points. That is experience, it's good. And then the varmint rifles we can slap together, that's already full condition apparently, so. We really just need to sell some shit. But that's 45 experience points just from repairing stuff that we're not even really intending to use, that we're just gonna sell, but I'll take it. Just, I mean, the pre-war money is worth money. Like, in case you don't know, pre-war money in this game has no carry weight. Because it doesn't. Like, you could technically be carrying $500 million, and it doesn't matter. And it would all be worth carrying, because you could sell it for caps at essentially zero weight, right? Like, this, that's an infinite value, as they say. As, this is That's the door back out. Yeah, I'm just making sure I fully explore this place, because I'm, I'm pretty sure... I mean, those energy cells made all of that worth doing, right? Like... Technically, we're going to repair this. We're not really needing to right now. My repair skill is high enough that I can let this condition go down a little bit. But we... There's the ransom note. We can listen to that, I guess. It's not that important. If you want to see the, your wife alive again, bring the cash of the small unmarked bills to the Bison Steve on Tuesday. Um, is what it is. Ransom. Another very easy locked door. Super killing it. Boop. I mean, picking locks, 5 out of 25 on that. Jet is free carry weight. Which is good, because I can't afford to carry anything that actually adds carry weight. I'm actually maxed out. Oh, the skeleton. Oh, fuck, dude. Sometimes that shit will kill you. You know that? I mean, I don't know if y'all have ever had that happen to you, but when those skeletons get the like, weird physics going on, they become objects of pure destruction even more powerful than a nuclear bomb. I think that's everything. I, I might have missed something, and it, you know, but I got those energy cells. That was valuable. And this goes out to the side of Prim, right? Like, oh, there's this guy. Hey, hey I forgot that you were here. 
There's a critical. That's what we're really looking for. And it will get better as we go, right? But when we critical... Well, for one thing, we save a lot of ammunition. We can take that environment rifle, even though we're over-encumbered again. Welcome to the video game. In case you don't know what fucking playing Fall New Vegas is like, this is it. Can we just hop over this? Will you let me? No. The game will not let me hop over this. Technically, we're on this, and then we can go around this, and there's places we can hop off here. Not the most efficient way to get down, though, to be fair. We can get down here. I mean... I forgot about this door, even at all. And I forgot there was a dude here. But he got turned into ash, so it's all fine. We'll go back down the regular way. I'll see you guys when we get back outside. I'll save some time in the video. All right, I wanted to show this as we're heading out here. Kind of over here by the front door where we came in at. We'll show this where this at. You can repair the elevator to go upstairs this way. Um, we did it. I thought I was going to get some experience points for that. It wasn't even worth doing. So, sucks to suck, I guess. We're going to head right out here, though. And then we're going to talk to... Uh, what's his fuck? The de Deputy Beagle? Is he right outside? You know, he goes and hides, right? He's like... Doesn't he? Uh, quests? Yeah, talk to him. And then Beagle's like, no, dude, I can't be sheriff. I'm kind of made too, way too, way too bitch made for that shit. Hello, everybody. I am chill. You don't know, I'm not, huh? Howdy, indeed. Save Beagle's life. Saving Beagle's life caused a whole bunch of events to happen. He's well, like one bar of fucking of HP. He's crippled. He got fucking dynamited. I saved his life. Yes, you broke yourself out. Okay, tell me where the fuck go for the quest, just to say I did it. And then yeah, uh, like uh, you're the sheriff now. He's not. What are the qualifications for sheriff? Okay, I'll help bring law and order back to Prim. Yes, we're doing that quest too. Now there's three options for that. You can get the NCR involved, which is kind of an interesting way to do it. Um, it's kind of leading you the way that the game wants you to go. Um, you can go back to the Powder Gangers, and there's a guy there who could be the sheriff. But we also have Prim Slim, and we're taking the particular high level of science skill. Um, so we're going to reprogram Prim Slim to be sheriff. Law enforcement protocols reinstated, partner. Good. The quest is done. That's a free 300 XP. We didn't have to go to a whole different kind of thing. My kind of town, complete. Level up. Sick. Goodbye. Thank you. Um, level 5. So this is not a perk level, so we don't have to worry too much about it. I'm trying to think about the things that I need in the future, though. So I'm going to look into my build here a little bit as I'm doing this. Um, we still need... We got science at 70, which is as high as we need for now. We need to get repaired up even more. It's very important. Um, it just is. And we're going to need to get... I would like to get energy weapons going up to get to that to 30. We're going to need speech here eventually as well. And sneak. Fuck. Um, just a lot of stuff on the go. Um, we'll put those five points in a sneak for now. Call that good for a level. <laughs> you know, we're just I'm gonna make do with what I got. Okay. So where did uh, Johnson Nash go though? Hello. Hello. I'm uh, Johnson. Johnson Nash. I would like to fucking. Sheriff Beagle, broken, crippled ass. You broken, crippled. Like he's fucking got no HP. I think that's hilarious that he just barely lived through the shit. He's gonna be crippled walking the whole rest of his life because he just doesn't know how to fix himself. Where the fuck did? I mean, Prim Slim, you do a good job. What? Everybody's just walking around now. Oh. Everybody's just walking around. Is everybody going home? Is that the deal? Oh, he's healing. Deputy Beagle's healing. He's got more HP than he did, but I don't know. Okay, so it's like we're gonna wait, I guess, for a while. To like the morning time because I would like to talk to uh, Johnson Nash because he's a, just he's a fucking vendor and I would like to buy something like desperately bad and eventually this place opens back up as a casino and I really like to do that too is everybody just leave this place nobody's back in here anymore this cleared out right or is that true does Johnson Nash go back home I, I mean obviously there's Mrs Nash where's your husband at Hello there. Tell me about Prim and all the things. Yeah, who are you? Yeah, she makes a. Uh, if you have. I don't have any. And she teaches you how to make a very valuable survival healing item. I'm like burping. There's a Nash residence here. Obviously, we got Eddie here. Um, try to fix it, repair. Um, repair 65. We don't have that. Science, though? Science 55 or higher. Uh, run the bypass. Now we still need repair 35 or, her, or no, repair. Try to fix it without parts repair. Try to fix it repair. We got Eddie off rip. This is that's one of the benefits of this repair science kind of build. We get Eddie and he's like the best. Or she or it. This is companion protocol begins. Sick, okay? 
And you can make ammo, so you can make... Well, this is this, this just says regular ammo. Do you have the... Eddie, does Eddie have multi-tools? Yeah, yeah, you could, and then we could make ammo, we could recycle these energy cells on the fly. Which is very, that's, I mean, Eddie gonna be our friend, okay? You got that old... Uh... Do you have anything for sale? I would like to just sell some shit, really, desperately bad. I have fucking... I don't need these binoculars, to be fair, that's a very cool thing. Sell the dynamite. Um, keep the laser pistol. Single shock and varmint rifle rules. We have like this NCR armor we definitely don't need. I don't really need this sheriff stuff. It's cool. It exists. Plus one charisma is kind of a cool effect. The sheriff's hat is kind of cool as a thing. Um, so maybe we'll keep that part, but we can get rid of that. I don't really need the duster either. Do you have anything good for weapons? Like for me in particular. Like this is very. No. You just have gun guns. That's cool. Did you, you have a barter magazine. Do you have an explosives magazine? I forget what it's called. Position. All that stuff, right? Boxing times. Small energy cell bulk. That's fucking... <laughs> bulk energy cells are trash, but I mean, I suppose we should buy it, because it's really, it might be a concern of mine that we don't have it. We could buy both of them, even. Do you have regular energy cells to buy, though? You do. We have plenty of things more to sell. Like, that's why I'm talking about that pre-war money in here. So, we can sell this intercessor real ball that I didn't even pick up anyway. So, we could sell all those, right? That's a big chunk of money back. We are still paying him a little bit, but we could also start to sell some of these rounds. We don't need 10mm bullets. We're never going to use them, right? Um, we don't need shotgun shells. We're not going to use that. We're not going to use those, right? Like, we, And it, it doesn't save us weight, necessarily. We should probably just sell things that save us weight first, right? To be fair. Like this mercenary grenade rifle we don't need. And now we're kind of just at our energy weapons. I'm going to keep the frag mines just in case. You never know what kind of super nasty shit's going to show up and make you really wish you had something that went kaboom. Um... But we could sell all these 9mm rounds too, just to make some money. Um, microfusion beater, uh, microfusion cell. We could sell the 556 five, rounds. That's pretty good. That's close enough to his. We just made a bunch of money back because we're kind of broke ass. We got Eddie. He's my friend. He, she, it's, it's you know, one of those complicated deals. But Eddie's my friend. Eddie's got like one of the best companion perks in the game, if you don't know. If you never, I don't know why you would not know. Like, we have the bulk ammo now, right? Trash rounds. And we have some overcharged capacity rounds and then the regular ammunition. All pretty good. Now, I'm going to take a quick break. I got to go to the bathroom, but you guys are going to see the video in an instant. I'll see you guys in just a second. All right, press the changer. I'm instantaneously back for you, but I did I did indeed go to the bathroom, wash my hands, all the things. Um, cannot wait in the air. I wasn't, I think I was in the air. I didn't even mean to do that too, though. So obviously, we're going to head down the road here because we have to go to the next thing. Like, I believe we're. We're just done with Prim. They went to that away. Um, we gotta head to Novak. It's really the long way around, obviously. You know, there's things, there's lots of little side things to do on the way. Obviously, the first and foremost is that this little building we're kind of looking at up here on the horizon as that tumbleweed pops in. It's the Xbox 360 version of the game, okay? They didn't even increase the resolution of this one. I wish they did, right? Obviously. Like, it would be cooler if it looked nicer, for sure. Um, but we're gonna kind of sneak this way. We're gonna kind of sneak around this part. What you're gonna see here is there's some people on the road that are gonna load in any minute now. Um, but they're gonna go tax some Viper gang members that are here. Now we're gonna go in there and take care of this little building and clear it out to say we did. There's where we're heading. I mean, you can get it. The fact that you can see that from this far away, the fact that the Xbox 360 console, what fucking year did that even thing come out? I don't remember at this point. Like, probably like 20 years ago at this point. This is fucking forever ago. I'm thinking about it, right? Like, the 360, I'm like trying to think when that fucking thing came out. But like fucking forever ago, running this shit. Now there's the red pips because Eddie is the best. Um, so we can very much see where the enemies are at. Now we're waiting for the people to attack. Usually they come up the thing. There's people on the, the road that will attack you and not attack the vipers if you go too fast straight at them. So we're kind of avoiding that scenario by going around here intentionally. I'm trying to use my big smart brain noggin to do the things. Um... And we'll see if we can see up here. Now, there's definitely a Viper right there. And there's another one. I'm like, the thing about Eddie that is a little bit unfortunate is that there's something way the fuck over. Like, I'm looking at a compass pip down in the bottom left there, right? There's something way over there. It's an ant or something. Now, no, 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 Eddie. Eddie! You like that? You like the sight of your own blood? Okay. That jackal's dead. This is not the warrior of some jackals, though. This is just the gang member. 10mm pistol is hella valuable though. 
Um, it's the deal of the other Jackal member, the Jackal Gang leader, who's coming around the back of the building. The Nevada Highway Patrol system. This is, like I told you, this is the negative about Eddie. Eddie? Does everybody call him Eddie or EDE? I don't know what people, like the general consensus even is on that. It's Eddie to me always, but... This is the gang leader. This is a much more dangerous person. They're currently technically shooting at Eddie right now, which has made you fuck up, because I'm going to get close enough to get the 95% on your fast headshot. And then when we do hit the crits, people just fucking die. And I pinky promise there will be a point in this game. These guys didn't even attack yet, because Eddie kind of set them off. Like, these are the guys coming down the road. I usually wait for these people to come up and attack now. These guys are... You better get out or of here. what, convict? Thanks for the free karma. I do steal things. So and this guy didn't even react yet. That's a bad shot. Let me get a little closer to you. I'm dude jumping for no reason, but one shot in the dome piece. Laser, like I'm, I'm plenty powerful, and I got a good amount of ammunition now. To be fair, I am working my way up on that. I don't know if I want the dynamite. The dynamite 25 a piece is not very high value. NCR money. Well, we're gonna pick up that NCR money because we're gonna eventually trade it in for caps later, maybe. Take the bomber rifle too. Sure, why not? But like the Eddie thing, I'm seeing that pit boy pit boy up there. Those are like ghouls up there, generally. I believe there's ghouls all the way up there. Now there's two people who are gonna jump us right as soon as we get in this bitch. I'm aware of that. Fuck you. Fuck you, door, for saying fuck you to me. We're trying to walk in as quickly as we can and as forward as we can. It should be, if I hit them, one headshot each. That's a critical. That 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 jackal man would die. One shot, two shots, clear it out. Eddie, I mean, there's a little, there's a little thing there. Let's hurry, pull this thing back out. Eddie, you got him. Good job, Eddie. Now I plan on not using companions too much. I like having Eddie though, because he's he's, a little, he's my little robot buddy, um, and he's very valuable to have as a companion. But he, is, you know, I think, I don't think companions are cheating. I, cheating is not the right word for it, but they are very powerful, and they kind of trivialize the video game. They make it a little bit too easy for my life. There's a magazine, I think I'm going to be doing a book, right? Is it not? Yeah, Guns and Bullets right there. Um, I, I told you so. I knew that was there. Now, locked door. We open this just to say we did. There's there's really just a mantis in here. There's nothing of value. And usually it gets trapped behind the door. It did. And it's a nymph mantis too. It's like a tiny fucking mantis. But we're not wasting any ammo with this, right? These little, this thing is, at least this is doing cool things like that. Antivenom will become important later. Castle doors are eventually going to be a thing. Eddie, you just going in? Yeah, you can, I mean, you can keep going, bud, I guess, if you want to. I'll do some bad shots, that'll help. I'll actually do some of my own contributions to combat. Now, I think having Eddie is a little bit different than having, like, a human companion. Like, Veronica's overpowered. She's going to run in there with her power fist and just kill everything all the time. Eddie's a little bit different, and I think Eddie really does go with my particular um, play style, right, of having energy weapons and stuff like that, and the fact that I could repair him so early on in the game, or I say him like it's a, it's a but like them, I really, you know, could be better about pronouns, I bet. Um, now, there's this dead person in here, they have a star bottle cap, which is the most important thing, they got the cards, a potato! Um, this, is, this is a meme my fucking kid says. My kid's like really on the fucking memes, you guys. I don't know if you know that. Probably don't. But like, like a potato. I don't know why she says it like a British accent, but it's a meme of some kind. I'm. She makes me feel old. All the time. Okay, laser pistol back out. Yes, ants. Who's... You guys hear those noises? I hope you guys are hearing the noises. I double check. I got recorded a practice video that had noise. This entire... Fucking gameplay playthrough could have no fucking game audio again because my capture card's a broken piece of garbage trash that I really should replace. But you know, it's not like it's free. Um, I'm probably going to replace as soon as I can justify the cost of it. You, I promise you guys, these YouTube videos are not making me the amount of money you might think that they are um, to justify spending a bunch to keep them going. I just gotta. I. It's actually more advantageous to spend the time like I'll, I, I don't know how many times I have to have a video literally have something wrong with it the, the audio didn't record the microphone didn't record something broke and usually it has to do with the capture card but sometimes the microphone right and then like then you use a deal where you're like oh fuck I have to deal with this shit and then just have to re-record the whole entire video you can't, just can't tell because I try not to make it super obvious but it is a, definitely a deal what the fuck is that map marker way over there there's always traders here 
trader. Hey there. Yeah, Anything? I would like to see what you got for sale, um, at least. You have a, another laser pistol. See, we could just kind of stock up on laser pl plasma for right now. Reinforced leather armor. Is that worth getting? Uh, I mean, probably, right? It's got better damage threshold already. It's like the best armor we can get in the game right now, so we'll buy that. It is it's, that's 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 a very lucky roll on that, and we could always trade some bullets for this. Shit. Obviously, we should sell the stuff we don't want first: ten millimeter pistols, nine millimeter pistols, dynamite we didn't want, um, the varmint rifle. We're still paying them some money, but we could fix that. We could fix that. Um, that's what we got all these bullets for. Uh, we don't need the 257, the 44, the 308s, 22, 10 millimeter. We have all these 40 millimeter grenades, these 5.56 five, rounds, 9 millimeter rounds, energy cells, flame refuel, microfusion cells. We want to keep all that. They're technically still paying us out with some money. Do you have anything cool? Oh, yeah, they're like the anti material rifle. Shit, they're like, oh, do you fucking katana and shit? Tri beam laser rifle focus optics. That's really good. And we'll, we'll, we definitely are going to do that one day. Is that day to day? No, it is not. Um, we don't need microfusion cells, right? Like none of us, none of the things that we need. Energy cells, but you don't have any energy cells, and that's fine. We'll just take the money that you got there and call that a good transaction for my benefit. Soda, 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 soda. Is there anything in here? I should probably go to the first person. I can't see shit. I mean, the agave fruit is pretty good, especially because it heals. Um, I'm so used to. I I've played hardcore, right? Like, and, and the, the agave fruit heals your um. Your thirst as well as your hunger, so it's a very valuable thing. I'm getting a little too sidetracked and distracted. I, I know some someone's gonna be in my comments being like, "You don't really focus very well." And I like, I considering how much I focus, like actually in real life, the fact that I am continuously playing this video game is is a good level of focus for me. Now, obviously, we're gonna head up here. There's a lot of quests to do from here. We're not gonna get to all of them today, um, for sure. But there's a couple. That we can, well, the first one I think we're gonna do right off rip, and then we'll probably call it a video for the day. But this is very cool. The music obviously all kicks up. Hopefully, you guys are hearing the music. The meeting between the Rangers and the NCR, where they made the great agreement, the Mojave Outpost. Nuke it later. We gotta talk to this guy. Coming from the north. What is this place? It's the Mojave Outpost. Yeah, any work around here? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. You actually, don't have to talk to that person at all. We're gonna talk to them later. Uh, there might be another merchant here and stuff. I'm not too worried about it. Prospector. Prim has a new sheriff. I did that. I already got the prim the new sheriff. I mean, we're kind of just fucking cruising through things. I forgot to go back and get that cigarette, but um, to be fair, should have probably done that. But that's okay. We'll get to it at some point. Cass is obviously in there. We might have to do some bad things um, to Cass. You occur. Yeah. Uh, depends on the work. You want me to go check out the town right over there? I will go do that. Keep your eyes on the prize. Now, there's a way to double turn on that quest. We'll get to that a little bit later. I wanted to see, though, real quick. We're going to head in here. Hello. We're going to pick up all the quests while we're kind of here doing the things. Hello, Major Knight. Uh, I'm a carrier. Just need some. Yep. Anything I can do to help around here? Nope. Not, not according to him. How much would it cost me to repair this recharger rifle? 451 caps. And it would go maximum. I would get a lot more damage off of it. I think that's worth doing. I'm going to... I spent the money. Okay? I forgot to equip my better armor. So... Give me a second. Thank you for calling me ma'am. The respect of that dude right there. Um, I always feel bad when I gotta kill him. I don't. I guess you never have to kill him, but I want the reinforced leather armor. We'll slap all the leather armor in there. Apparently the lightweight doesn't count, but damage threshold of 10, a little bit better. A little bit more weight for sure, right? But it does look really cool. Like this lightweight leather armor, the black like tones of it, very cool. Well, um, we can go talk to Major Knight, right? Knight? Major Jack? Ranger Jackson? I don't know who Knight. Looks like we got yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, you soldiers, uh, you sound frustrated. Maybe you need some help. Sounds like a deal. Okay, go kill some ants. I mean, I know we're skipping through the dialogue and stuff, too. Can you find it in your heart? We'll do that next time. We're just going to go to Nipton real quick. Is it Nipton? Nipton, right? Like, uh, names I told you guys are fucking struggle busting. Yeah, it is Nipton. It's Nipton. We're going to Nipton. Now, there's no way to fast travel down there any faster, so we're just going to walk there. But we talked to that guy here. Um, this guy, what's he, Sergeant Kilborn. So, obviously, Ghost, I believe, is her name? The, the lady's got real pale skin. Ghost is the one who gives you the quest to go talk to Nipton. But if you go do talk to Nipton, and we're going to go do that, we're going to, you know, 
the Legion are going to be there. In case you like I said, we're going to talk about spoilers. We're going to talk about my plan for things. This is one of the best. I mean, like, I know we're going to talk about 360 stuff, but you can fucking see a long fucking way. Not super long. Obviously, you can still see things popping in and stuff like that. But it's not like the newer Fallout games. It's Fallout 76. 16 times. Um, but it is... It is but, you know, I think people shit on Fallout 76 too much. It's a very good looking video game. Like, it's got issues. Um... Right? It's not, no, I don't think a video game is perfect. <laughs> Vegas has got issues. We could crash. Um, definitely could still happen. Um, the fact that it runs like ass trash on PC. Um, I literally was going to do, thinking about doing this playthrough on PC. I promise you. I was going to, I'm going to go on PC. I'm going to play it on PC instead. But then, like, so I have a high refresh rate monitor. 360 hertz, even, right? 360 hertz monitor. But I have to lower that down to 60, otherwise, the game will run too fast. Um, just fucking, because it's an old dumb game. Um, it's not really meant for modern computers. Oh, that's a dead rat scorpion, right? I was, you know, I got super duper fucking nervous, but the ants killed this thing. It's empty too. They ate the scorpion gland. Eddie, you're doing a good job. I like your little buzzing. Plus, I like the little combat music that plays. It doesn't gonna affect stealth. We're probably not gonna keep Eddie forever, but for now, there is bad mans up here. There's the vipers that are gonna jump my ass right here, and there's a lot of them. This is actually like a really tough fight. So what we're going to do is we're gonna save the game like a coward. So as you see, you can see this is the second time I saved the game. The last save was when I literally ended the first video. This is the first time I've manually saved since then because I believe in the game's integrity to hold up. Um, this iron sights are awful. I, I'm uh, like it's unfortunate that I even bought them on because it's like I don't know anybody aiming with this shit at all. Um, we are gonna try to sneak up on these guys and get some shots off rip. I think we're powerful enough though. These energy weapons against non-creature enemies do a pretty good job. Now, all those frag mines are important. I always usually end up using those frag mines to kill these guys. There's also a grenade box over here, which is locked, but still. you could. I start the fight with a grenade, but my explosive skill is ass. So I don't know if I want to do that, but I'm pretty good about sleep. Like, they're right there. They're technically starting to notice me, so I wonder if I could get this off. I, I don't probably want to go for that person. 80% chance. I could throw like two grenades in there. And bats is giving me a lot more damage resistance. And hopefully that kills. That was a sneak attack critical. I blew my cell arm up, but like throwing one grenade and killing three people with that seems high value as fuck to me. Like, especially because these jackal gang leaders, like I was talking about with the other one that we ran into earlier, are quite nasty. Like, they will fuck your day up. And the fact that all I got was a crippled limb is, I think, a fair trade. Right? Like, now there's a couple more of them out there on this other side, I think. The Nipton Road pit stop. There's definitely a couple more on this side. And usually, or is that the ants? I fuck it. No, there's definitely a guy right there. These iron sights, dude. There's one dead. I'm detected, but that's by Eddie. That's the one thing about companions, too, that are always weird. I don't usually like companions, but Eddie I make exceptions for. Obviously, Lonesome Road, you have to do your own separate thing with that. Um, is there more jackals out here, or is that just the one guy? He got a sneak attack critical, which is pretty fun. There's just the ants further way out there. There's, I know there's a shit ton of ants way out there. Um, not too worried about that right now. I know my arm is broken, but I'm not too worried about it either. I kind of blew myself up with a grenade, okay? Like, you know, shit happens, dog. Like, I crippled my arm, but I did kill three people with one grenade. And I, you know, that's the cost of having 23 explosive skill, I suppose, right? Now, there's going to be two people fighting up here... Let's see if they kill each other yet. Like, sometimes that happens, but they should be in the middle of a fight, potentially. Nope. They are one, one, They are fighting. They're, uh, they're shooting now. I look like he was shooting at the air. Now, we can see who wins this. We can help somebody win this. Technically, I mean, somebody definitely win this. You're shooting the dead body, okay? You can take his journal, his leather armor, we can, and the pistol, sure. Um, we can talk to Jacqueline. Jacqueline here. Did you see that? Uh, what was it that you took from his corpse? What? This? It's a... It's the special caps necklace. Uh, nothing like those six you got there. They... Uh... Well, I guess you're... I'm just too smart for you. Um, and then she's gonna attack me. Um, technically she's hostile right now, but... Or she not hostile? I don't know. Regardless, she's dead before she even knows what the fuck hit her. Cause, star bottle caps, baby. Whoever wins, gets the star bottle caps. And they have to give them to me. That's nine of them shits. That's the fucking best way to start getting that shit going. Lots of 10 millimeter pistols now too. Apparently the nine millimeter is no longer the same. Is my left arm crippled? Is that the crippled arm? 
Yes, so it doesn't really matter. I'm right. I'm only right-handed with this pistol anyway. I think it's fine. Look! Look at all the little bodies. Look! Look at all the friendly targets over here. Look! Thanks, Eddie, for letting me know all those friendlies over here. This must be a real friendly situation. I won the lottery. Yeah! Who won the lottery? This fucking died, dude. Uh, are you okay? Uh, are you a powder ganger? Uh, what sort of lottery are you doing? All right, you can go, dog. That's cool. You cannot go. Not allowed. Compass marker updated. For what? Just to show me that he was here? What what compass marker did I get added to? I don't, I don't know if I said this. That's, that's a DLC thing. I know Crimson Caravan is there because of... What marker did he add? Like, Novak? Or Nipton? I don't know, man. But then pfft, we can also get our first laser rifle over here. We'll do that in a second. <laughs> Nipton General Sword. And this video is going long as fuck. I just keep playing because this is fucking how I play the game. Hello, Boxyard. This time? Um, how did you survive? L yeah, they they so. It ain't like we came to nip in the play. What's the fuck Swanick or whatever? Yeah, fucking won the lottery, so he doesn't get to die. But he got second place, so he gets his legs broken. Instead, everybody else got fucking crucified or burned. The little mayor got burned in a pile of tires. Um, so it's kind of a nasty story. Um, they did some bad things here. What happened to the mayor? When his ticket came up, they burned him alive on a pile of tires. Told you so. Um, you said some people were enslaved. Yeah, a bunch of those. I'll see if I can save them. Um, maybe. Um, let's talk about something else. Uh, why are you still here? My fucking legs, dude. I just can't fucking move. Uh, here's some medics, dog. I'll just give you, like, five doses of medics. Sure. That's positive karma. And boxcars is allowed to exist. But, you know, that's fine. And technically, I can kill them and take it right back. Nuka-Cola fridge. It's a special... I don't think there's any... Is there any of the Nuka-Cola fridges in the game? I don't think so. I can't think of one that I can think of that's specifically marked as a Nuka Cola fridge, besides this one in this little fucking house that only has boxcars in there that most people probably ignore as a quest entirely. It's a free save. I mean, look, look at all that. Look at all that shit for free? Worth going in this room for. Or this whole entire house. Um, there's a bed here. Thanks for the free sleep. Now my limb is healed. That's, I mean, that's, you always wait for a bed if you can. If you can't, if you, you know, like, heal if you have to. But use beds. If you're not, unless you're playing on hardcore, then the beds don't do shit. And then you're kind of like, oh, I'm big sad. And you, it probably makes you big sad. I'd be big sad about it. That was like, I mean, it does make the game harder. That's the whole point, I guess. Um, we got some bark scorpions over here. I'm going to go back to this thing. This, I mean, we know we repaired it. I was going to say this is a nearly broken thing, but I forgot. We repaired this. Um, so this should kill the bark scorpions. It's fine, right? The critical spikes, we're getting better at that. And the thing is... We're gonna definitely need to get. I plan on. We're definitely not doing laser pistols the whole game. I, I intend to. See the difference between critting and not critting? Did it die? It did die. It just had a very undramatic death animation. Um, there's Legion armor here, in case you wanted really that. But this is our first laser rifle in the game. And he also had a lottery ticket. But no ammo. Um, the, the laser rifle uses the micro fusion cells, right? There's scrap metal in here. There's a bed in here, too, though. In case you don't want to go talk to box cars. And some purified water, right? Yeah. Not that I need the purified water. We do have this laser rifle. It's a it's in a horrible fucking condition, okay? Like, let's slap some of these together, though, while we're here in my menu doing the things. But we got this laser rifle in a horrible condition. I got one microfusion cell. It doesn't do that much more damage anyway. It only requires strength of three, though. That's why, I, like I said, the three is kind of right where we're at on there. I didn't realize recharger rifles fucking somehow heavier than a god... What are we fighting, Eddie? What we, is something still over here? You're making the combat noises. There's a bark scorpion still over here. What's up, bark scorpion? Little bitch ass. We just got a crit, and we're gonna get better at crits. Obviously, there's some more perks. I can talk about some of the perks we're gonna take later on, but I think I got another big chunk of experience points for. Um. Doing the, the whatchamacallit, the, one of those challenges or whatever for like disintegrating enemies with this fucking thing. Now, it'd be cool if you could like take these people down. You cannot. The Legion will get mad. They're gonna, they're right there. They're, they've popped in now. Mailbox? No. Hello, Legion. How's it going? Don't worry. 
I won't have you lashed to a cross like the rest of these. It's degenerate. very intimidating. It's useful. And and this involved. game is designed so about I where you if you feel like, oh, this is a bad person, I should fight them. And the first time I played New Vegas and I didn't know anything about it, I fought him. I was like, no, nah, fuck you. You're the bad guys. I'm gonna be the good guy. I'm gonna. But they just kill you. They just kill the fuck out of you. It's this isn't it. I'm just gonna do what you say, and then you leave them, and they move on. Quest out of cold, whole heart. So that's that's the that's a different quest. So like, there's two different quests here. This is why we're showing up that we can do this. So. Keep your eyes on the prize is return to Ranger Ghost. And Ranger Ghost will take it. But Cold Cold Heart is tell somebody about what the Legion did. There's two separate things here. We gotta also rescue the captain. Um, what I'm gonna do though, obviously I wanna go to the Nipton Town Hall. There's a whole like dungeon here. Dungeon is a rough word of like just a place to go into. There's a lot of valuable stuff in there. Lots of valuable stuff. There's a valuable room over here too. But for now, I do have to kind of, you know, get this particular video done. So we're gonna go back to the Mojave Outpost. For now, we can always fast travel back to Nipton and do more of that in the next part. So we're going to turn around here. We're going to report the Legion's atrocities. And we can show that here. So right now, our quest marker is that. But if we go to Cold to Cold Heart, it, the quest marker is right here. Something else you wanted? And you have to do this one first to get both of them. And then you can get, I believe, credit for both of them. Let's make sure. I mean, we'll see how it goes. Legion's attack Nipton, burned, and killed everyone. What? There's no way. We're miles They're literally right down the hill. I just walked there in like five Wait. minutes. I know, like, hypothetically, the scale is supposed to get larger or whatever, but they were literally right there. We'll never stop. Yeah, and this guy literally has, like, you know, an existential crisis about it. But that completes that quest. Cold, cold heart, complete. And then keep your eyes on the prize. It's still a quest we have because Ranger Ghost specifically asks us to do that. Rather, than, If you just tell Ranger Ghost, you're reporting the Legion's atrocities too, but it doesn't count as a quest complete, I believe. I don't know. Maybe it just counts both ways. I'd do it this way because that's just the way I've, I've figured it out. You check out the Nipton Town Hall. Yet? Yeah, Nipton was attacked by the Legion. Legion this far west? You're fucking kidding. I'm not. They they are here. Um, don't mean to be the bearer of bad news. Unless you burn the town. Don't take blame. That's not you. That's true. If we get both of those quests done. Experience with both of them. Keep your eyes on the prize. Complete NCR fame. Get NCR on our side. Not that the Legion is mad at us or anything either. We are doing just fine on that scale of things here too. Obviously, we are, I'm gonna keep exploring Nipton next time. We gotta clear out the critters too, um, the ants that are down there, and then we could probably head up to Novak in the next episode. I was gonna say tomorrow, but it might be it probably gonna be tomorrow for me in terms of making videos, maybe. But in the next video for you guys, because we can we clear out Nipton, clear out the ants. We should probably go back to that cigarette at some point. You know what? I'm gonna do that right now before I forget again. Um, in case you don't know. This is important stuff you could do. There's some blowflies up here, but we should be fine with the the rifle that doesn't spin ammunition. I for, what is this fucking thing called? I forget. Like the recycler, the recharger. Isn't there a recycler rifle too, or is it just a recharger rifle? This is what a great gun. This should make a mod of this and follow for. I've not. It's another bark scorpion. As you see, bark scorpion not really a problem. Crate would be cool. Takes the. the, the that's a huge difference in crit shot damage. If I can one shot them with the crit, but it takes three shots to kill them without it. It's, you know, that's a huge difference. I mean, not that the ammo is the thing right now, but we do have to come up here, though. This is where we were buried. Um, just in case there's a good spring cemetery. There's some blood flies here. Not that that's any concern of mine, really. We'll take two shots at that one, just in case. I think that's all of our AP, so we'll just execute on that. In fact, this is not one-shotting blood flies. It is saving ammo, though. I don't want to waste my, uh... This is so rough. Go, Eddie, go. Help. Why are they running? No, too. Like, that's a weird... I should just... I have not the strength to wield this weapon, therefore it is ass. Eventually, like I said, eventually we're gonna get... Weapon handling. And then we'll be able to wield, you know... Pretty much anything we want to do. But we got the blood flies. Vets. We're going to use a lot of vets. Um, but this is the grave that we are buried in. Now, this is important because we need, eventually, potentially, we need, Eddie, you're kind of standing in the way. I really would like to look for specific things on the ground. It's very hard to see. Like, now, Eddie, what are we fighting? There's another fucking blood fly. What the fucking fuck? I've, I've never, I don't think I've ever seen four blood flies up here. My brain remembers three. Like, that's what comes to mind in terms of my recollection. Um, 
don't want to blow up by me, but it will, will be good with it. Um, so yeah, there's cigarette butts of the pe right here. Distinctive cigarette butt. We could take one of them. We don't. Need, you could take all of them technically, but you only need the one. They're a lot easier to see on PC. I'll tell you what. Um, but yeah, that's that's what I wanted. To, we could see Vegas here in the background too. That's a very cool effect that you can literally come up from the hill. From the town. Obviously, we're not gonna go this way to Vegas, but you can see it at nighttime in the background. They're very fucking cool. What a cool fucking video game in Vegas. I'm really having a fun time playing it. Um, I'm gonna take us back here though. Um, to Nipton. I think that's what we'll pick up next time. We'll do the Nipton um, town hall area, this building that we're looking at here, and a couple of these little side houses and stuff. But it's been a fun part. Hopefully, you know, gameplay audio worked this time. I apologize that it didn't work in the first video. Like it, like I literally made mod videos the day before I made these Fallout New Vegas videos, and the gameplay audio was working just fine. And I didn't do anything to myself. Sometimes my stuff just breaks. Maybe we'll get a new capture card soon. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy this part. I had a lot of fun playing it. I'm, I just fucking love New Vegas. I could play this shit fucking endlessly. I love this game. I played it so many times. But playing it again for you guys. So if you do appreciate that and you want to see more, make sure you leave that like ring down below. It really lets me know. To like, you know, helps me motivate me to keep making the playthrough for you guys. I can just play it by myself, but you know, it does take some energy to sit here and talk about the things that I'm doing rather than just think about them and do them. Um, so, like the video, let me know you want more. Comment what you think down below. Subscribe if you haven't already to check out more videos from me. And pretty much other than that, you guys have a good rest of your day, or whatever it may be, and I will see you in the next episode.